very proud to introduce someone who may not be a familiar face to all of you yet. Don't let the really good posture and the big vocabulary scare you away. He's a great man, uh, very good for the school, and a pleasure to work with. And I want to introduce our Chief Performance Officer, Dr. Ken Roberts. Bobby so much for introducing me. Uh, Bobby knows I wouldn't hesitate to go into battle with him. Uh, I'm so glad to be part of the team, uh, not to mention the fact that Bobby can out bench press me by 250 pounds. <laughs> um, all kidding aside, it's an honor to serve shoulder to shoulder with Bobby and the rest of the Fairmont executive team. I've also been told that I, I don't make a good first impression. Consequently, I'd like to apologize in advance <laughs> and hope that we meet again. <laughs> it's my pleasure to address all of you today as your Chief Performance Officer. Yes, I focus on performance, but also on development. And today I'm going to speak to you about performance management. The type of performance management that focuses on employee-oriented outcomes, which includes employee development, motivation, and retention. Not just performance management, focused on organizational outcomes, which never leads to organizational effectiveness. I earned a PhD in education, specializing in training and performance improvement. And the most difficult task I ever accomplished was writing my dissertation. For those not familiar with the process, first I had to select a topic. No other scholar had researched, and it needed to be related to my field of study. In my case, specifically performance improvement. My dissertation focused on improving performance in the small to medium-sized business sector in the United States. According to the Small Business Administration, in 2016, businesses with less than 100 employees and annual revenues of less than $50 million were considered small, while businesses with 100 to 999 employees with annual revenues greater than 50 million but less than a billion would be considered medium. Wow. Fairmont private schools would arguably be regarded as a medium-sized business or enterprise. I spent eight months in the dissertation salt mines where there are no names, just casualties. <laughs> I thank God for the strength to persevere and endure to the end. After hearing about my dissertation saga, Mr. Jackson said to me, you would have done much better if you'd gone to Fairmont. <laughs> and you know what? I agree. We strongly believe a Fairmont education is worth its weight in gold. And so I enroll my daughter, Raquel, in our preparatory academy where she will begin her junior year of high school. My daughter is now on a journey that will put her steps ahead of dad, and I couldn't be prouder of having an opportunity to watch her grow and mature here at Fairmont. I'm excited for her to experience classes with such great teachers. And I wanna say thank you in advance to those who will be helping her through her journey. I'm sure she won't forget you. Through doctoral studies, I've grown to love unearthing data, examining facts, generating solutions, applying them, and observing predicted outcomes. Regarding my topic today, which is performance management, each of us has a view of our school based on our prescribed lens, meaning what we do for Fairmont. And yet together, we are one school. You've heard the phrase e pluribus unum which means out of many, we are one. And today I speak to all of us 
not one of us. However, I'd like to take a moment to focus primarily on our teachers and how they represent the school. But first, I'd like to show a slide. How many of you can tell me what this is? I'm sure our mathematics department can. It's Albert Einstein's theory of relativity in an elegant equation where the left side is grounded in geometric mathematics while the right side is grounded in physics. Yet each side complements one another in a collaborative manner. Our new performance management system requires an opportunity for us to create an equivalent of performance excellence here at Fairmont where both teachers and staff have a combined synergy and focus on the highest levels of performance excellence. Teacher excellence has been a constant focus at Fairmont Private Schools. In fact, I had an opportunity to teach as an adjunct instructor for Colorado Technical University during my doctoral pursuit, and I know that teaching is not a task to be taken lightly. Students count on great teachers to help them, help them develop and grow. If we were to create an equation to best represent the combined synergy of performance excellence between teachers and staff, I believe it would look like this. Teacher performance excellence plus staff performance excellence equals Fairmont squared performance excellence. Whereby teacher performance excellence and staff performance excellence become congruent. The teacher certification program represents a continuing emphasis on having the highest standards of performance excellence in our classrooms. Your partners in the business office, as well as all non-teaching roles at our campuses, want to be the very best at what they do having a keen focus on performance objectives. The question is whether we should aspire to be a good school or a great school, doing what we can or doing much more than expected, asking not what Fairmont can do for you, but what you can do for Fairmont. The question is, what are we willing to do to claim the prize of champion private school? It boils down to our culture and what we believe defines greatness. This state of Fairmont represents a report out for all of us. Part of any business strategy is to establish a keen focus on performance management. Fairmont's executive team decided to connect the dots between employee objectives, departmental objectives, and the school's annual goals. As part of this performance management system, all non-teaching positions will have specific key performance objectives directly linked to Fairmont's balanced scorecard. You might ask, what is a balanced scorecard? It's a management tool that helps the school focus on performance objectives each academic year. The scorecard captures objectives specific to revenue, customer satisfaction, operational excellence, and employee engagement that are all interconnected. When the work is done, everyone will know how they do what they do affects the school's goals. The executive team, department leaders, and employees will all be involved in this process. I remember a study of an organization years ago that also embarked on a permeating path of culture and high performance and synergy throughout its ranks. And the results were spectacular. The organization was NASA, our country's National Aeronautical and Space Administration. The story goes like this. 
to ensure everyone at NASA was on the same page in terms of its overarching objectives, an investigatory crew post-intervention was asked to interview employees at random and ask employees what their job was at NASA, not knowing what their expected responses might be. And as the story goes, in one of the basements of NASA's launch control areas, they found an African-American man mopping the floor. And they asked him, what is your job? And the man replied while mopping the floor, my job is to put a man on the moon. Now that's profoundly powerful, almost unimaginable, but it happened. And yes, we put a man on the moon during the Apollo 11 manned mission during the day of July 20th, 1969. When Neil Armstrong stepped on the lunar surface, he said, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Our new performance management system represents an opportunity to generate an equivalent level of performance excellence where both teachers and staff have a combined focus toward achieving the highest levels of performance execution. And because of our Fairmont Y, I know the way we treat each other with mutual respect and professional courtesy makes all the difference in the world as we work together toward our goal. Together, everything we do matters. And in the end, our character will ignite our aspirations to be the very best at what we do. And collectively, we will make that giant leap from good to great in grand style. Please envision a Neil Armstrong-like quote about how our prolific statement might read once we've set new records at the highest, as the highest performing private school in Orange County and beyond. It could very well read like this. That's one giant leap in private school excellence and one great example of empowering educators and administrators. In summary, our performance excellence goals are attainable and together, we can achieve the unimaginable. Thank you very much. I have the honor, and now I'd like to inter introduce our next speakers, John Barrier, Vice President of Global Operations, and Dr. Rebecca Wood, Director of International Education.